Hey, do a little dance, make a little love. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. Hey guys, hey, this is Nay. Follow me on IG, Periscope, Twitter, Spreaker, and support me on Patreon at Nay Rob on YouTube. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, comment respectfully, and subscribe. And finally, don't forget to hit that notification bell down to your right and make sure that it says that you will be notified of all my videos. Now, let's talk about the Real Housewives of Potomac. Okay, guys, so how it starts off is where it left off with Giselle and Monique down there eating French pancakes under the French France sky, looking beautiful, you know, the the scenery is absolutely amazing. I just don't know if I'm capable of being on a plane that long. You know, I'm going to Vegas in August and that five hour trip is not feeling good to your girl, but child, baby, but I digress, I digress. And again, we're having a conversation about Kendall. And for the life of me, I don't understand why a woman who does not have a cherry blossom name comes up so much in a show when she does not have a cherry blossom. I don't get it. I don't, why are you ladies so bothered by Giselle her? Giselle wants to get to the bottom of it and she wants to know why you were being so shady. I recognize that you were being shady by bringing old um, Park Pussy's ex-wife to uh, the event. And I want you to own up to it. Monique owns up to it, but she throws Sharissi under the bus bus while she's only so up then they it. go on a two hour long trip to a winery okay and all the hussies are in the van together now that's a whole lot of being in the van with a whole bunch of girls for two hours that be shading each other at every opportunity if it was me i would just sit there and i just be quiet for two hours and then candace mentioned do y'all want me to sing? And they was like, no, 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 no. I'm saying to myself, what is the problem with Candace singing? The girl sings good. I could see if she sounded like a goat when she sang. She doesn't, she sounds wonderful. And as much as Monique was like shoving in our necks, in our face, in our eyeballs, in our elbows about this daggone oil stuff, why did this girl talk about oils every goddamn three minutes? If Robin talk about, what's that? For her beauty hue, whatever that is. If if Kern talks about her Frenchy Poo parfum. If if Ashley talks about her restaurant. If all of these, if Robin talks about her and Juan or you know her problems, whatever it is. If they can talk about whatever their endeavors are, why can't Candace sing? Why y'all so mad for? Y'all just seem so irritated. And I'm like, what is the problem? Unless... She got bad breath or drunk bitch breath. That's then we get to Giselle's confessional where she's like recanting the entire situation with no cherry blossom having Kendall, uh, Sharissi and Monique. Y'all are too mad about that. Giselle, I don't know. Giselle, I don't know why you so mad, Giselle. I don't, I don't get it. Like you, you look, look at it like you dodged a bullet. Okay. Kendall did you a favor. In fact, when you see Kendall, you need to shake her hand and be like, thank you so much, bitch. Thank you so much, bitch, from saving me from the man that buys park pussy. He would have humiliated bitch. you too, the same way he humiliated no cherry blossom. He would have humiliated every hussy after that. You think he just stopped buying park plus pussy? You think he just was like, oh, today I'm not going to buy park pussy? No, hussy. He's probably buying alley cat pussy then, now. So then the drinking begins and Karen over there flirting with Frenchie Poo, okay? And, you know, she's like, let me show you what a real married woman do or a wife does or something like that or a woman who keeps her, no, what a, a woman who knows how to keep a man does. Basically, we'll go with that. And Jizza says, well, Karen, how would he know that you was married because you don't have your ring on? And I'm saying to myself, why does it matter for when you in a relationship with somebody for like 20, 30 years, you ain't got to prove nothing so to then nobody. Charissi and Monique separate from the group. And Charissi says, you threw me under the bus 
at the um, dinner that we had the other day. Oh, and she did, honey. She threw Mo Monique threw Sharissi so far on the bus, and I'm like, just ugh. Monique feels that because the Jizza and Sharissi are in a good place, Sharissi does not want to own up to her part, right? Monique really, she just just is cavalier about it. She tries to like jar Sharissi's, um, you know, tries to jar Sharissi's memory so that maybe she can remember, hey, look, we thought this together. We thought that this was something cool to do together. You might not have said it, but you definitely co-signed it. So I don't want to take the full brunt of it on my own because this is not it's not something that i thought up on my own you were with me when he, when we thought about it and this is where i feel like okay y'all are being some suckers right here because jizza is one person it's it the only thing y'all really have to say is get out my face that's it when jizza approaches sharissi all sharissi has to do is be like girl get out Eric my face candace um tries to talk to the girls, but uh, who is that? Robin and Ashley, they decided to take some pictures about it. I don't think it was a big deal. I've been like, okay, cool, when you get done, but I need y'all to hurry up over here because I want to tell everybody and I don't want to say it twice. Um, she says to the girls, look, I have a lot going on. And then she stopped, you know, wavering. And um, she says that, um, she says to the girls that, you know, I don't feel like you all take me seriously. I'm tired of feeling like I have to fight you in order to obtain your friendship, right? And the girls are lost because I don't feel that way. I really don't feel that way. I think the girls are just irritated with Candace, you know, simply put, because I think Candace makes things bigger deals than what they are you know like the things that she says she's going through she's trying to deal with a wedding she you know she's dealing with her mother she's this she's that those are the things that the girls have already gone through or that the girls are going through right now and they just move you know they just maneuver still in the group candace was like you know I have a lot going on and I don't want to have to fight with you all too, you know, and the girls are like, well, and the way I saw it and I feel like the girls would be on the same page as me is, well, you're really not going through anything. You're going through a wedding. We all been through a wedding, you know? Okay. You having problems with your mother. We all having problems with our mother, you know, or our mother-in-law or our parents or something. And Karen tried to help her and interject and say that, um, Listen, you're a grown woman, but I'm going to say this one thing to try to help you because I think Karen is like, I cannot help this girl. This girl just does not get it because Monique was, I'm sorry, Candace was like, um, Candace was like, you all called me a princess. Who called you a princess, like, girl? Because Candace is struggling for respect. I feel like she should have said, Karen, I got it. Do not interject. Well, I they got flash it. back to uh, Sharissi and Monique. And Monique, at that time, she apologizes to Sharissi. Girl, bang. Why are you apologizing? If you know what you know, and you know that the girl was on board with the BS in the beginning, why are you apologizing? Because she a good day on Libra. We always trying to make peace to the trip home. You know, I don't know why them two are always at each other's throat. I don't get it. What I don't like about Ashley is this. Ashley is a younger person. And you could tell what kind of upbringing she had because Kern is old enough to be her mother. I would never argue with somebody that is old enough to be my mother. If my mother was alive to see me argue with somebody, even though I'm grown, I'm 47, it's still a matter of respect. Like Ashley, there's no reason why Ashley should go back and forth with Karen like that. That's, that's, Ashley's young enough to be her child. Like, I don't get it. Don't get me wrong, they both should respect each other. But Ashley is just very, very overboard. She's just out, just out of pocket a lot, I feel. And I respect Karen. her as a person, but when she gets down and dirty and she start reading them hussies, she got it. She will read the 
frig out of any one of them women there. Like, didn't she go at Sharissi throat? I guarantee you Sharissi won't be in her face anymore talking that ju -ju -ju to her anymore. Now, Ashley and Candace, because they're the same age, they might go back and forth. But regardless, Candace read the hell out of Ashley telling her to go suck a D. That's what you need to do. Go suck a D. Mind your business, B. Stay off Kern's neck. I said, ooh. At that point, I liked Candace. But I need her to stay that Candace. And then what, what I don't understand, these confusing assholes, these confusing assholes, when, when Candace goes in like that and show her strength, y'all be like, oh, you too much, you too much. Back down, you too much. And I'm like, why? She need to be strong. Candace, if you listen to this, stay that girl. Stay on them hussies. Okay, Jizza, Rob, we get to where Jizza, Robin, Karen, and Sharissi are sitting on the boat together in their little section. And Jizza brings up Karen's ring again. And Karen was telling some kind of elaborate tale where she, something about her getting robbed and she stuck it up in her cooch or something like that. I mean, it was far-fetched or crazy but then again i'm like if i'm getting robbed uh trust me i'm gonna swallow my ring and it's gonna come out in my doodle you know, later. again current be telling such elaborate stories and um you know you just look at her and yeah you just look at her but like i say i admire Kern, i admire current because i'm like anybody that can tell them tall tales and stand in it and look you in the face and don't flinch I like them. Say like France and um I'm gonna say something really easy France or easy France, something like that. But I'm gonna say something really quickly about that. Um uh they said something that back home in the US, you can have something perfectly good and you're tear it down to make something supposedly better. Where in France and Italy, they've had w the same well-made buildings up for years. And that's why the cities and the countries look so beautiful because they've maintained the integrity of the buildings there. Where here, we just knock everything that's old down and then put up new and half the shits be effed up. You know, I'm telling you facts. Have these luxury condos they putting up everywhere be crumbling. Go on to enjoy the sights. They climbing up hella stairs. And then we get to the last night in France, Monique's birthday. Okay. Um, the girls dress up. They look beautiful, all except for bobblehead. Ashley, she like she got a wig helmet on, but all the rest of the girls look beautiful. Um, Giselle has to take a phone call from back home because her daughter is having, um, you know, a, a, a preteen crisis. And I just thought it was very sweet. And in that mo moment, I really liked Giselle. In that moment, now, you know, I really liked the Giselle in that so moment. So then we get to um, Candace apologizes and makes it a big deal again. Everybody's standing around trying to figure out, girl, what the, just be quiet. Stop trying to explain yourself. That's number one. Stop trying to explain your feelings. Stop trying to explain yourself. Stop trying to talk about yourself so much. Just be there. And when them hussies say something crazy to you, just say something quick and get them up off your back. That's it. That's all you have to do and stay cute and sing, even though them hussies don't like it because goddamn, American Idol is hot. Uh, Jizza and Sharissi trying to figure out what's going on. Jizza approaches Sharissi and like, Sharissi, I thought me and you were cool, okay? I thought that, you know, we were at a good place. Sharissi's like, we're fine. You know, they call each other fair weather and then they kiss and make up. It was all good. I already knew that the Jizza was not going to have a problem with uh, Sharissi. I knew that wasn't going to be. The show wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Sharissi and or Kern. To be quite honest with you, Sharissi is the power player on the show. She's so much of the power player that she is a main character on the show and she doesn't hold a cherry blossom. So that should tell you all. So then Candace sings, good girl, keep singing, God damn it. And then Robin and um, Robin and Ashley uh, 
act out the scene between Robin and Monique when Monique took the umbrella and tried to shove it in uh, Robin's neck, which I don't believe was anything. I don't believe that Monique really is about that work to be able to do that. I don't think she's the kind of person to do that. I don't think she has it in her. But anyway, they acted out that scene and it was funny as hell. So. Remember this, the same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people you meet on the way down. Naysayers, my patron loves. Have a good one. Deuce.